Millions of dollars coming into the city, hotels and restaurants packed. WDRB's Darby Bean shows us what's bringing so many people to Louisville lately. Darby? Fallon, an ongoing basketball tournament is bringing people to town from across the world and across the country. There's games going on right now. I'll tell you, this is a loud, busy, active place right now. Together on three! One, two, three, together! A trip down the court is just a small part for thousands of basketball teams in their trip to Kentucky. Everything's been wonderful. Uh, Southern hospitality, Louisville's been great. We love it here. Brooke Pierce is bringing teams all the way from Australia for the opportunity to get these athletes in front of college coaches. This tournament's definitely worth it. Um, there's nothing like this at home. To walk into a venue like this with 80 courts and, and everything like that is incredible. Between several basketball tournaments taking over the Kentucky Expo Center this month, the estimated economic impact for this city tops $21 million. It's truly a citywide event that hits restaurants, taxis, Ubers, uh, all the hotels throughout the entire city. Louisville Tourism saying not only is the city rebounding from the pandemic, but it's growing coming off a derby season with an impact of more than $400 million. We've been growing back to where we were then beyond that. Before the summer closes, when these courts come up, it'll be time for the annual Kentucky State Fair in August. Each cheer and basket now adding a little more excitement for what's next. We're optimistic about the future. Business is good for Louisville in this type of event. Pierce saying his team has already visited the outlet shops in Simpsonville, Wicks Pizza, and the Cottage Inn. A busy Louisville atmosphere with more events to come. I didn't think there would be so many things down here, you know. It's, it's a pretty small city uh, compared to other places. So, yeah, it's, there's a lot to do down here. It's, it's really nice. Join us tonight on WGRB News at 5, and we'll talk more about what to expect next month when this turns into the Kentucky State Fair. And a welcome sight to see so many people visiting our city. All right, Darby, thank you.